Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. Uh, this episode we take on Arsenal in the Premiership. This match will be played at the Emirates. Um, just a little bit of transfer activity that I've kind of done off screen. Um, Jockin says, a uh, young player who I've been following for quite a while, um, for 15 years old, amazing stats. Uh, we've got him in on loan until the end of the season. Uh, we've got an agreed price of £5 million, so if I can find the £5 million, I would uh, definitely sign him. I think he's a very good player. Um, released one of the fitness coaches, I think, Ortega uh, released him because his stats for a fitness coach really isn't um, all that great. So I've uh, been looking to see if I can get a better fitness coach in. Um, Blanford and McLean have signed new contracts. Um, Muriel tried to sign him again, but the work permit was denied. So hopefully, um, I've appealed that. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll be able to bring him in because I think he'll be a very good player. Uh, Cahill won't be available. Asbukwaita, Cole and Oscar won't be available for this match. So a little bit disappointing. Um, I think in terms of the defence it's weakened us a little bit but I think we've got the quality um, to, you know, to do well. But in terms of who will be um, starting for us, we're going to have Poyol on the left. Um, not his natural position but to be honest, he's kind of the best option that I've got for that area of the field right now. So uh, Puyol will be on the left, Terry will be in the centre. Also, um, Courtois as well, just have a quick look at him. I offered to loan him out. Oh, he's not there, he's got to be in the senior squad then. Here he is. Um, surprisingly, Barcelona and Real Madrid both want him on loan. Um, they both made an identical offer um, no future fee because I have no interest in selling Courtois just want to kind of help him get first team experience and get better um, I've negotiated the offers that Barcelona and Real Madrid both made um, I've added a recall clause in that so should Petacek get injured I can recall Courtois at any point should I see fit but um, in terms of this match against Arsenal big game Hopefully um, we can win. I've got. I, th I feel that the squad, the squad that I've caught, is uh, definitely capable of winning this match. But we shall. Uh, we shall see whether or not we do. In terms of uh, starting lineup for us today, oh, we'll just have a quick look at Arsenal as well, just to see who uh, who won't be playing for them. See who they've got injured. Arsenal, right, Mertesacker, Danielson, Javinio and Mayachi won't be playing, so mm, not bad, not bad. Um, the starting lineup for us today will be Czech, Poyol, David Luiz, Terry, Ivanovic, Hazard, Lampard, Dembaba, Mata, De Brune and Falcao, and on the bench we'll have Courtois, Says, Marin, Mikel, Ramirez, Andre Ayew and Fernando Loriente. So, hopefully we can get a win. Um, last match against Man United, uh, we, we slipped up, really. I think we could have gone on to win that match if Cole wasn't sent off. But, you know, we look to this match now. Arsenal going in the same formation as we are. 4-2-3-1 formation. I think if you look at starting lineups, not trying to be biased or anything, but I think I've got a strong starting lineup. So hopefully uh, that will reflect in the game today. Morales not bad at Arsenal. It's not bad in the squad right now either. So uh, hopefully we can get good response from the players. Uh, Terry and David Luiz look happy. That's a good start. Lampard looks happy. Right, so only three players to respond out of the 11. A little bit disappointing, but hopefully we can get a win today and start a good form in the Premiership again really. I think uh, you know, the fact that we haven't got Asbel Quater, uh, Cole uh, available for this match. Bit of a pain in the ass, same for Cahill. Oh, Wilkshire in the box. Oh, and he scores. Damn. Not good. They made us pay for that error. 
Oh dear, that's not the start that I wanted. Not at all. Let's have a look at this highlight and see whose mistake it was. Uh, Wiltshire ran into the box. Oh, we're not going to get to see the pass, but John Terry should have been marking Giroud more. We've still got plenty of time, it's still early on in the game. Ivanovic has picked up a knock, he's on 71% condition rating, which really isn't good. Um, you know, in terms of defence right now, with suspensions, that's kind of really the main thing that's limiting uh, my selection. But is it De Bruyne? Can he get? To no, he ain't going to get to it. Santos to Wiltshire, Ramsey, Arteta back to Wiltshire. Oh, looks, I think Wiltshire, they've switched the flank. Wiltshire's on. Giroud, oh, I could save by check. Just uh, Cazola, Terry with the header out. Hazard to Falcao. Come on. Oh. Someone else has been injured by the, by the looks of it. Just said injured by Arteta. Right. End of the first half. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we're, we're playing absolutely shocking right now. Everyone looks fired up and motivated, so hopefully, um, hopefully that will uh, kind of reflect onto the field in the second half, and we'll be able to get two goals. But uh, we got time; we got 45 minutes in match time. This is Vanovic, Lampard, Mata, Lampard to Hazard. Good pass to Vanovic. Find it how to break him down right now, I think. Hazard looks in pain. Fantastic. Oh, goodness me. Right, we'll get Demba Bar. Actually, hold on. We'll see if Hazard can continue. Right. Substitutions. Demba Bar. Uh, we're going to try Andre Ayu on the left wing left attack inside of midfield hopefully it'll um, kind of give a little bit more pace I think he's faster than Denver Bar and more technical so hopefully that'll uh, give us a bit of the edge Poyo good tackle Andre A to Falcao come on let's get a goal Poyo to Ayu in the box oh Good save. <coughs> See, within a matter of five minutes, Andre just created himself a great opportunity and was unlucky not to get a goal. Check. Ivanovic back to check. Go on, losing this match really is uh, is not good. After our loss to Man United, Andre whips it in. Oh. Mata De Bruyne. De Bruyne with a goal. He has been absolutely fantastic. Um, since I registered him in the second half of the season. Um, to be honest, if I knew he was going to do this well, I would have registered him at the start of the season, really, um, with the fact that Oscar's been out injured for quite a few games. Uh, De Bruyne's really kind of stepped up into that role and done really well. It's going to be a difficult decision when Oscar comes back, whether or not to have De Bruyne starting on the right attacking side of midfield or Oscar. So, uh, you know, choices, choices. Gonna make another substitute. Farcal. He's getting a bit of a beat in 63% condition rate, so we'll get Fernando Loriente on for him. But we put ourselves back in it. Now we just gotta try and uh, ensure that we don't concede and grab another goal. But this is Hazard on the left wing. Oh, round two. Sanger heads it out. Lampard long range. Shot. And I think it took a deflection. I think it might have took a deflection off one of them. It took a deflection off somebody, I know that much. But fantastic, 2-1. Awesome. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Sanger headed it, Lampard from the edge of the box. I personally thought he was going to shoot from there. But I think it took a def deflection off one of their defenders. But 
according to this, Lampard's good to go. So another fantastic goal by Lampard. Cardozo with a free kick. Check claims it. Right now we just kind of have to basically stop Arsenal from scoring really uh, just keep doing what we're doing keeping them on the back foot Hazard Andre Ayew just run with it cuts in on three with a shot just goes over Arsenal with a corner Kazoa oh damn it and they've leveled they have got their equaliser Cazola crosses it in. You can see here. Yeah, little flick on by Grude and no one's even marking. Damn. Still got time, 15 minutes. Still got plenty of time. Right, will De Brune off for Ramirez. Let's see if uh see if we can try and out uh kind of attack them from the wings and get some balls into the box and hopefully get on to the end of them and get goals really that's the the aim of the game this is Oxay chamberlain pass back Andre Santos whips it in, Terry headers out Colloquin, edge of the box, shot and he scores, well fuck me damn it Defensively, we've just been all over the bloody place today. Oh my goodness. Oh dearie, dearie, dearie me. Go on, Hazard. Send it to Lampard. Flick on to Mata. Oh, Lorienté could have gone to that. Ramsey. Oxe chamberlain Good tackle. Hazard. Ah, oh, damn it. Holby. Oxe Chamberlain in the centre. Running with it into the box. Good save by Czech. Ramsey. Another good save by Czech. Come on. Let's get our shit together. David Luiz to Lampard. Hazard. Poyo. Arsenal are tackling well. I give him that. Oxe Chamberlain. Cuts in on the centre. Good save by check. Oh man. We should be doing so much better than what we are right now. I don't understand. Ivanovic kicks it up but no one gets to it. Full time. 3-2 win to Arsenal. Let's have a look at the stats. Oh, we had 14 opportunities, 6 on target. 47% possession to their 57 80% pass completion to their 83. Tackles won 65% to their 71. Headers won 65% to their 72%. We had three yellow cards, they had one. The average rating for a player for today was 7.03. And the average rating for a player for them today was 7.33. Uh, man of the match, Francis Quaquilin. Not very good stats, but. Um, Man of the match, 9.0 rating. Oliver Giroud, 9.0 rating. Ramsey, 8.0. Poor performance from uh, from the players today. Absolute shocking. Not happy with that one bit, and that's you know we've just dropped vital points, which uh, you know Man City could uh, could capital capitalise on and build an even bigger lead than what they have right now. I think our next match is against Manchester United. I think. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, our next match is against Manchester United in the FA Cup. Cover scores: um, Blackpool two 0 win against Cardiff. Aston Villa and Fulham one all draw. Southampton two one win against Liverpool. Stoke 3-2 win against West Ham, uh, West Brom and Newcastle 0-0 draw and Man United 4-0 win against Norwich. We'll have a look at the league table. Uh, currently in 4th place Tottenham, 21 games played, 36 points. We've fallen down to 3rd place, 22 games played, 48 points. 
Man United are in second with uh, 22 games played, 48 points, and Man City are in first place with 21 games played, 50 points. So, uh, yeah, if they win their game in hand, they can then have a five point lead over us, which isn't good at all. But um, that's all for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, our next game is against Manchester United. And it's going to be played at Old Trafford as well. And it's the fourth round of the FA Cup. So I look forward to seeing you guys for that episode. Take care, guys.